Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Clemmy. I'm the Director of Music Ministries at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. I come today, once again, with my weekly message from the music ministry. This is still so strange to me, but this is one way that I know that I can communicate with you. It's on our website. And so please go to that website for weekly updates from me and from other staff members. My report to you about the music ministry is a positive one. Everyone is still safe and healthy. We're still zooming in every week with the children and all of the adults. We are studying scripture. We are praying. We are in community. We miss you, and I look forward to that time when we can all be in community here in this building at St. Paul's. So today we are looking at the fourth Sunday of Easter. This resurrection tide is one of my favorite times of the year. And what I would like to do is to talk to you about a hymn that we would hear typically on the fourth Sunday of Easter. And this is one of my favorites. I think you know it as well. I'm going to read the first verse. The strife is o'er, the battle done. The victory of life is won. The song of triumph has begun. Alleluia. This Latin hymn captures the triumphant joy of the resurrection. The reason I say it is a Latin hymn is because the original would have been in Latin. The tune comes from 500 years ago, and we still sing it today. And I don't know about you, but for Episcopalians, I would consider this to be quite a battle hymn. And so, with that said, I would like to draw this picture for you. On the fourth Sunday of Easter, we realize that Christ has redeemed humanity by being a ransom for us through his death, conquering the powers of hell and restoring the link between a fallen humanity and heaven. This redemption is classically envisioned as a great battle between Christ and the powers of death with their legions. Now we've heard the first verse, and I would like for you to hear the last verse as well. Nicholas will sing three of them, but listen to this final verse. The text is coming from Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5, and it rounds out the end of the verse with Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 55. Hear the words of the hymn on the final stanza. Lord, by the stripes which wounded thee, from death's dread sting thy servants free, that we may live and sing to thee. Alleluia. The poet is Francis Pott from the 19th century. He provided his own translation. Remember I said that this was in Latin originally. And it went into a hymnal in 1861. It has certainly become a staple of Easter hymnody throughout all Christian denominations. But one little piece of interest that I don't know that many realize is that the melody comes from Giovanni Palestrina from the 16th century. Mr. Monk, William Monk, took that melody and took it exactly as it is with the first couple of lines, and then he adapted the final Alleluia. So, let us hear this battle hymn between life and death and sing it with great gusto when you do hear it. The strife is o'er. Thank you. 
Oh, my.